I'm a survivor of a rare pediatric liver cancer called fibrolamellar hepatocellular carcinoma. I decided to sequence the genome of my own cancer, and through analyzing billions of base pairs from over 10 patients, I discovered a unique change in the DNA that seems to cause this cancer. As a result, fibrolamellar will soon have its first ever diagnostic test, which is great because the key to surviving this cancer is catching it early. Further, my work suggests potential treatments, which is even better. I was first diagnosed when I was 12 years old. I was very lucky in that through removing most of my liver, they were able to get the entire tumor out. Then, when I was 16, I interned in a lab studying the DNA of pancreatic cancer in adults. I realized finding the few important changes in the DNA that cause the cancer was hard because, first of all, adults have three to 5,000 mutations in their DNA caused naturally over time. Furthermore, their tumors have been around for decades, so they might also have thousands of mutations completely unrelated to the changes that originally caused the cancer. My idea was to analyze the DNA in an adolescent cancer. After all, young people have few mutations in their DNA, and their tumors haven't been around for decades if they haven't been. Experts told me it would never work because pediatric cancer results from problems in repair of DNA, which would produce millions of mutations. Still, with the help of my surgeon and a YouTube campaign, I was able to recruit tumor tissue from pediatric patients. The DNA got sequenced, and my hypothesis was right. The kids' tumors had very few mutations. In every single patient, I found a deletion in a copy of the chromosome that left the head of one piece of DNA fused to the body of a different piece. This fused gene retained all of its activity, and worse, had nothing telling itself to turn off. This fused gene is likely what's causing fibrolamellar. I'm now helping develop the first ever test to detect the cancer, and two upcoming clinical trials testing drugs against fibrolamellar are based on my work. These results are extremely important for all of my friends who are currently fighting this disease. However, it is also important for everyone. Once a driver is found in one kind of cancer, it's often found in other cancers too. Studying the DNA in children's cancers, even if rare, may be a rapid way to get insights that will help many kinds of cancer.